Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare today, and it is November 24th. Starting us off, we have a new study looking to see if children's IQ was impacted by mothers consuming SSRIs while breastfeeding. Thankfully, the results seem pretty reassuring. Children whose mothers were taking SSRIs while breastfeeding end up having no major differences when it came to IQ. Moving on to our next study, this one looked to see if GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic had any impact on women when it came to actually taking it around the time of getting pregnant. They found that those who stopped taking these GLP-1 drugs around pregnancy not only had higher weight gain during pregnancy, but they also had higher complication risks for things like gestational diabetes and other complications. Before we get into the last two studies, if you want to find the links to any of these or if you want a more in-depth analysis, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack. You'll get a daily newsletter and you'll help support me as a medical student. According to a new CNN report, the White House has delayed their plans for releasing how they're going to be dealing with the Affordable Care Act subsidies ending soon, meaning that's going to be difficult for them to figure out what they're going to do before they expire at the end of the year. And our last study for today is talking about cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, a mouthful basically saying that there is frequent and constant vomiting as a result of chronic cannabis use. The study essentially found that the rates of this have significantly been increasing over time, and it's most likely to be found in young adults specifically. That's all the major news for today. Again, if you want the links for anything, it's in the bio on the Substack, but I will see you tomorrow for the rest of the news.